Hello to all you wonderful creative people, and as always, welcome to Art in Motion. In the previous tutorial, I showed you how to create 3D images for Facebook using Blender, as well as how to post 3D geometry directly to your Facebook timeline. But did you know you can create virtual reality videos and images for Facebook and YouTube? Well, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how. Now, before we continue, don't forget to hit that subscribe button to unlock your creative potential and hit that bell to stay notified. So let's get started, shall we? I want to start with a scene that I made previously, and I assume you've already made a scene for yourself or some kind of uh, 3D environment that you want to work with. The only bit of advice that I'll give you when it comes to creating your scene is make sure that wherever the camera is, when you look around, there's always something to look at, whether it's up or down or whatever direction the camera is looking in, there's always something to see. There mustn't be any holes in your scenery, places where it looks like something's missing. But let's just take a look at my scene quick. It's just a tunnel, it's a bit of a donut, and there's some lights and a camera, and the only animation really is it spins. So it looks like you're moving through the tunnel from the view of the camera. And if we look at the lighting, all it is is two lights, one red and one blue, just to add a little bit of contrast between what's in front of us and what's behind us in the scene. By the way, if you become a patron, you'll be able to download this project file. So once you've got a scene that you're really happy with and you wanna export it, all that you need to do is go to your render settings, change it from EV to cycles because this only works inside of cycles. Then all you gotta do is select your camera, go down to your camera settings, change the type to panoramic, then all you got to do is change the panorama type to equitriangular. Then you've got to go up to your output settings over here and make sure that your resolution is set to the right aspect ratio, which for VR is a two by one aspect ratio, which all that that means is the X resolution needs to be twice that of the Y resolution. So if our Y is 1080, all we got to do is change this top one to two one, Six, zero. And if you don't really want to do the math, you can always just select the Y, copy and paste it at the top here, and then press asterisk for times, and then two on your keyboard, and it'll automatically work out what that number is. Just in case you didn't know, you could do equations inside a lot of these boxes. So once you've got all those settings sorted out, it's now time to render an image or an animation. First, I'm going to show you how to render out an image and post it onto Facebook. So most of you probably already know this one. You just click on render and render image or press F12 on your keyboard. This will take a few moments. All right, so once it's done rendering, all you gotta do is click on image and save. You then gotta pick a location where you want it to save it to. I've got a folder on my desktop. You then wanna just change over to JPEG because for some reason, at the moment, I can't get it to work with PNG. So just to be safe, we're going with JPEG. And you can name the image whatever you want and save image. So once you've done that, you're gonna wanna go to panoramaphotographer.com and download the EXIF Fixer software, which don't worry, I'll leave a link in the description below. Uh, you then can choose if you want to download for Macintosh or Windows. I'm using a Windows machine, so I'm going to download for Windows. So once downloaded, we've now got to extract it. Extract here, go into the folder, open up the software, and it will look something like this. We then click choose JPEG or PNG. We select our JPEG that we just saved out. Click open. It'll look similar to this. Just make sure that you've got equitriangular selected at the top here. If for whatever reason you can't select equitriangular, just make sure that your render is two by one aspect ratio. The X resolution must be twice that of your Y resolution. And then if all looks right, you just click add metadata and that's it. So now if we were to head over to Facebook, we just click write post, photo, video, click upload photos and video, and we select our image. You'll know you've done something right when you get this little symbol in the corner of your image, 
and now you can just click share now and there we have it you can look around your 3d scene quite easily now rendering out for video is very similar there's a few options that you have I prefer to render out an image sequence from Blender and import it into After Effects and render it out as an MP4. You can, however, if you want to try it, uh, change your file format to FMMPEG and H.264 codec. That'll give you an MP4. But I'm going to show you how I do it with a PNG sequence. So once you've clicked render animation, it'll start rendering out a whole bunch of PNG images. And this is your PNG sequence, which you're now gonna import into After Effects or Premiere. All right, so once you've got After Effects open, you're gonna wanna go to File, Import, File, go to wherever you saved your image sequence, select one, make sure that PNG sequence is selected, and then we can right click click on new comp from selection and there we have it so now what you want to do is click on composition add to render queue we'll then click q in m a m e which stands for adobe media encoder because you're unable to export mp4s straight from after effects anymore you have to use media encoder so what you do now is next to this blue text over here, you just click on this little arrow, scroll down to H.264, select that. Then you click on this little arrow, make sure that it's at match source high bitrate, and then choose where you want to save it to. I'm going to save it to the desktop, call it 360 video and click save. And then we'll click the little play button and it will start rendering. Once it's done rendering, you then want to go to your browser and download the 360 video metadata tool. Don't worry about memorizing this URL. I'm going to leave a link in the description below. Uh, but once you are on this page, you're going to choose one of these two. One is for Windows and one is for Mac. I'm using a Windows machine. so. So I'm going to click on the Windows option and save. Now it's the same process as before. Right click, extract, and we open up the software and we'll get something like this. We then click on open, go to our desktop where we saved our video, click on the video, click open. We'll get a few options. In this case, we just need to click this top one for spherical 360 and inject metadata and then we just got to pick where we want to save the the new video with the injected metadata um, i'm just going to save it in the same place because it does add injected to the end of the name save this can sometimes take a few minutes it might even look like it's crashed but it'll take a while and once it's done you can now upload your video to both facebook and youtube which i'm going to show you now so photo video photo video uh, go to our desktop click on the 360 video injected all right it'll take a few moments to upload but once it's uploaded you'll get something that looks a lot like this you can then click share it might take a while it'll take a while to upload and process and they'll send you a message to let you know when it's done but once it's done you can now look around and it's animated. Moving on to YouTube, it's pretty much the exact same process. You click select a file to upload and you select the 360 video injected. It'll take a few moments to upload. So again, once it's done, you can now watch it and look around now, you'll probably want to make your video a lot longer than just a few seconds, just so the people have a chance to actually look around and maybe also not make it a loop so it doesn't get so boring. But this is a good example. 
If you become a patron, you'll be able to download this project and play around yourself. And if you like this video, please consider donating to my Patreon or sending me some crypto. Thank you for watching and tune in next time to unlock your creative potential. Talk that talk in reality, you have not seen me in action You think the come up comes overnight, you ain't behind the scenes Trust me, these things don't just happen No shade of Gerald, but G's don't come easy When you try to eat, I produce it and rap it I read that contract, you sent me to sign But excuse me, I can't help myself, I'm just laughing Hey, you try to cut out a piece of my pie And I asked you politely, what's in